so we are on our way there and we just got a flat tire so we're just fixing that before we can keep going <laughs> Got some yogurt, frozen yogurt in plastic bags. Super stoked about this. <laughs> Do you just bite it and eat it? Yeah, the corner. <laughs> so we're at a fishing fishing village. Fishing, yeah, fishing. A fishing village where they are catching fish, so chopping wood. We're just interviewing some people here. You can see them mending their nets. So Beautiful place. This is yeah, my friend. Beauty beautiful. <laughs> this is Etienne, he's a videographer here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Aya Institute Super of Art in Guinea. cultural tidbit on Guinea. We're going to go through the presidents. There have been three presidents since uh, Guinea began as a country in 1958, I believe. I need to, I'm going to fact check that. Um, so, we, um, so we have some beautiful statues here of the presidents, so we're going to go through those because learning is great. Okay, this is Sekutori, first president from 1958. For, uh, October 2nd was independence until 1984. Got a nice face. Now this is the second president, Mansana Conte, from 1984 to 2008. Between 2008 and 2010, the military took over the country. Mm. Then the elections took place in 2010, and this is the current president, Alpha Conde. We are heading to the mosque today, and we want to interview some Muslims there because we really want to represent Guinea in a balanced way and 85% of the country is Muslim and we don't really feel like we've had enough interviews with people of that faith. So we want to go talk to some people there and film some of the practices and prayers going on, film the mosque, and just see what we can learn and see how we can better learn to engage with them, to represent ourselves, to respect their culture and their faith, and yeah, to better enter, enter into conversation with Muslims, especially as a primarily Christian ship is coming in. Um, so, I'm really excited to learn and to just go there with an open heart, open eyes, open mind. So here we are at the Grand Mosque right behind me and we're gonna go interview some people hopefully and take some shots and see what happens. So we have two blind men here who heard about the ship and they want to know if they can get surgery. Oh, here's another one. 
No, no, it's an international oh, organization. People from all over the world. So Steve's trying to explain when the ship's coming and what they can do. All kinds of surgery. Tumors, goiters, eye surgery, dental, orthopedic. There's actually several people here who are all blind, I think. Nothing. Nothing. So we'll be here for 10 months. What about the, the surgeons? The surgeons will be here at the same time yeah, with the ship? Yeah, the ship yes. is, is a hospital. Okay. And we have all the surgeons living on the ship. Okay. Okay. I, I myself... Bonjour. Bien, yes. I myself Et vous? Okay. Yeah. So it's a little too complicated to film here in um, general. A lot of rules. A lot of rules to follow a lot of sick people who are crowding around wanting help, which is completely understandable. Um, so we just got some b-roll, but now we're gonna head back. All right, so we just got our passports back after only five days And that means we can actually go home